Child advocates are speaking out after a 30-year-old Duluth man was charged in the death of his fiance's three-year-old son. KBJR6's Leanne Valdez takes a look at that case and explains red flags every parent should watch for. He was my best friend. A parent's worst nightmare became a reality for a Duluth woman this year. You hear stories about it, but I never thought it was real and I never thought it could happen to me ever, especially my child. Heather Richard's three-year-old son, Cameron, died in September. He was, he was loving, like he truly only knew love. Her fiance, Jordan Carter, was charged with Cameron's murder three months after his death. When authorities first found Cameron, he was unresponsive. Doctors in Duluth say he had bruising down his body, a traumatic brain injury, and a fractured rib. He was rushed to Children's Minnesota Hospital in Minneapolis. Cameron died two days later. Bouchard knew Carter for 14 years, but says there were never any red flags. But for those people that do have the red flags, watch out for them. Program coordinator at Otto Bremer Trust Center for Safe and Healthy Children, Rebecca Full, says child abuse is more common than people think. It's really a public health crisis and a public health issue. She says parents and bystanders should look out for specific signs of abuse. If there is bruising, um, for example, on the ears or, um, you know, the torso, the neck, those are really big red flags in terms of injury for children under the age of four. Full says if your child attends daycare, you should be mindful if providers use negative attributions to describe your child, like pointing out your child doesn't like them. Um, and this is like a baby who is, you know, maybe six months, seven months. Um, so putting those sort of like negative attributions and unrealistic expe expectations of development on children can be a red flag as well. Other red flags could be if you notice a change in your child's behavior. If you have a child who's normally very talkative and they've become withdrawn, that might be something that we should take notice of or vice versa. Full ads asking your child open-ended questions helps too. What did you do today at so-and-so's house? And and, you know, how did you feel when you were there today? Most importantly, trust your gut. Don't take things for granted and listen to your kids. If you or someone you know is experiencing abuse, log on to our website for resources to help. By the way, Carter is due back in court next month. He posted bail last week.